Hey, it's C. Welcome to C Sharp, where I try to learn a different musical instrument every week. And I'm back here again at Fuller's Music with my old pal, Max Masia, and he's going to teach me a new instrument today. So what are we learning, Max? We're going to learn the clarinet today. The clarinet. Clarinet reed instrument. Another reed instrument. Another Last reed time, instrument. Max taught me how to play the trombone, and I walked out of here a trombonist. <laughs> <laughs> Not a violinist, but a trombonist. I'm back here again, and we're going to do our thing. Okay, today we got to use all our fingers. We yeah. got to use all our fingers Yeah, today. the trombone was easy. We just had to move our hand back. Okay. But the first thing is to get a sound. All right, so I have mine. Just the mouthpiece. And okay. this is called a reed again, right? This is called this. That's a reed. This up on is the top. reed. Wooden, the wooden part is a the wooden reed. part. Gotcha. Um, so the first thing we do, and you can see how I do it, is I put my upper teeth on. Okay. And then I turn my lower lip under mm -hmm. over my teeth. Oh yeah. Excellent. Ah! Excellent. <laughs> you're half. You're halfway there. I'm halfway there, y'all. Do it again. Now, the only thing I'm going to suggest that you do, when you blew, you had the instrument, you had the mouthpiece pointing pretty much out this way, and we want it down. We want we it want, downwards. Yeah. Yeah, you see the difference in the mm -hmm. sound? I hear the difference. The pitch is a little bit higher because, because you have a little more pressure on the reed. Not so much that no air comes out, but mm -hmm. just, just that little bit of change. That was a good sound. Thank you. Um, All right, we got the first step you now. You got the first step. You got, <laughs> you got the hard part. Right. This one, okay, what we do is put this on the, on the instrument, mm -hmm. okay, and we line the reed part of the mouthpiece. This reed has to line up with the back part of the clarinet. Oh, okay. It's, okay. Very, it's very important so that everything is in the right position. Gotcha. Okay. Now I want you to focus on the mouthpiece and do just the same thing that you did before. And this is the resting stance, right? That's right. Because I know like, well, I took orchestra, I had orchestra and right. the way that we rested, the violin was on our knee like this. You can, and you can do that, sure, mm -hmm. sure. Uh, so now go back to the mouthpiece the upper teeth on, the lower lip turned under, and the instrument turned down into your body a little bit. Holy Toledo. Holy cow. Yeah, that too. <laughs> That's good. Do it again. That sounded do, pretty good. Do it again. That was easy. Good. Easier than the flute. So what do <laughs> you know about the clarinet? What do I know about the yeah, clarinet? Yeah, what you know about the clarinet? Well, I, I, <laughs> I worked on teaching students for 30 years on the clarinet, on all the band instruments. So I, I can handle it. Okay. I can, and you're doing good. Well, thank you. You're, you, you're doing it quicker than most of my students did it. <laughs> Do it again. I feel like I've done this before. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put mine on, and we'll see if we get the same sound. Okay. Okay. I did good? You did good. <laughs> he said I did good. He did good. She did good. On C sharp, you'll learn a lot. <laughs> well, thank good you girl. so much. Thanks for joining me today on C sharp, and be sure to come back every Wednesday to see more instruments only on Hello ENC. Bye.